All right, thank you, Jacqueline, so much for those updates. And for you at home, if you are still planning maybe a possible outing for the month of August with your family, there are a lot of fun things going on in the triad always. And this morning we get a preview of a few events with the Arts Council of Winston-Salem and Forsyth County. Joining us live now to give us that preview is Katie Hall. She is the Art Council's Chief Marketing Officer. Katie, great to see you as always. Great to see you. Good morning. Good morning. So first, tell us about the Park Series concert at Tanglewood. There's, is a concert series happening at the park? Yes, yeah, so this is our eighth annual Parks Concert Series, which is sponsored by Arts Council of Winston-Salem and Forsyth County and Forsyth County Government. This is a free, family-friendly series that's offering concerts from May through October. And this concert at Tanglewood is happening Saturday, August the 12th from 5 to 8, and we'll be featuring Marvelous Function, who has toured the Southeast heavily since 2014. Their live shows are a dynamic, foot stomping, get down, and the function, as their fans call it, have um, been known to share with art, the stage with artists such as George Porter Jr. of The Meters, Eric Gales, Roosevelt Collier, Perpetual Groove, Sean Martin of Snarky Puppy, Alan Evans from Soul Live, and the legendary Snoop Dogg. So this is a wonderful time to come out, enjoy some nature in one of our county parks. We'll have food trucks and vendors on site, as well as family art activities from 5 until 8 p.m. And that concert you said is August 12th, right? That's Saturday, August the 12th. Okay, great. Everyone can mark their calendar for that. And then tell us about the second event you'd like to feature. Yes, yeah, so coming back to Winston-Salem is comedian Hassan Minaj. And he joined us here in Winston-Salem back in 2021. We were just coming back out of the pandemic um, after theaters were closed for about a year. And he had several sold out weekends. And so we're thrilled to be a location for experiment time, which is a testing uh, experience for people who love comedy to come and enjoy some of Hassan's work. And so um, if you haven't heard of Hassan Minaj, he is a two-time Peabody award-winning comedian known for his breakout special, Homecoming King on Netflix, and his critically acclaimed political satire, The Patriot Act, with Hassan Minaj also on Netflix. And, um, Recently, he premiered The King's Jester, which was what he was trialing while on campus back in 2021. And so we're thrilled to see what's going to come out of this workshop. Um, tickets are available online at inthearts.org slash Hassan. And we do anticipate that these shows, all five shows, will sell out. So be sure to get your ticket this week and take a friend and enjoy a wonderful evening of comedy. Those shows are taking place the 10th through the 12th, so it opens next Thursday and will run Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with two shows on Friday and Saturday. Great. You know what? I have watched him on Netflix too. He is so funny. So how cool it would be to see him live. I'm glad you featured that yeah. for us this morning. All right, so that's the same weekend. So August 12th is a big weekend for our area, but also this weekend is big with Gears and Guitars in downtown Winston-Salem. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I think that uh, some folks from Gears and Guitars were on a little bit earlier, but this is their 10th anniversary of Gears and Guitars, which is really a wonderful kind of weekend long event, three day event that brings together cycling and free outdoor concerts. Um, we just love seeing downtown activated with so many people. And last year, the event drew more than 7,500 folks for concerts and more than 1,000 cyclists. So I know that um, the community will come together. Things kick off on Friday evening. And so I plan to be downtown to enjoy some of that fun and hope the community will come together as well. So. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that in case anyone missed the top of our nine o'clock hour too with Jackie's live report, but we'll also have all that information on our website.